Okay, in this project I am going to teach you how you can uh, shift all these LEDs uh, to go from one port like this to another and the third and bring back to the first and uh, yeah it, it's like a LED chaser it just shifts from one LED to another so let's get started okay so here is the schematic in Proteus as you can see it is the same as in the first project of LED flashing so when I simulate over here you can sh see that um, sorry that the LEDs shift like uh, from right to left okay so uh, the CPU has to you know charge a little bit so it can work properly but as you can see it, it uh, shifts from right to left and here you go as you can and okay so and he, uh, the port B as you can see how it goes like here logic high shifts uh, from RB0 to RB7 then from RC0 to RC7 from RD0 to RD7 and then it goes back to RB0 uh, so let's see the co uh, let's see the code in micro C pro for pick uh, and talk about it and I hope you can uh, understand what is going on when I show you the code okay so here is the code uh, now here everything is usually the same like it was in the uh, previous videos except I have here unsigned char x equals to one so this is a character this is a data that is used in C programming language and it if I it is 8 bit long now if I uh, I named this uh, character X and is equal to one at the beginning at is it is equal to one uh, Ansel Ansel H is to configure all the pins to digital if, if, if it is equal to zero and tries B try C tries D is equal to zero so this is all the outputs and while is uh, an endless loop okay so let's go to the book of micro C pro for programming and here data types in C language there are several types of data that can be used in C programming language and this is a table that uh, shows uh, what are the types so in particular I'm interested in this character or uh, char uh, data type so it has a size so it is a character it is not a number it is a character but it can be used as a number yeah and the size number of bits is equal to eight so it is an eight bit long uh, data the, you have to understand that it is a eight bit long data and when i uh, used it like this so when i uh, said it is unsigned char x is equal to one then i have this first situation seven zeros and uh, one at the end so this is the first beginning of x is x is equal to one i hope that is now uh, clear to you now uh, here we have the beginning of the program okay so first this loop one and here i have this go to statements uh, that is um, a statement in uh, C programming language and this is here is an identifier just hear me out so in the first uh, first situation when uh, you know when I uh, uh, when I start the program I'll just try to catch here okay now when they when i start the program the first led is on rb0 it, it is going on rb0 and rb0 is over here so why it is glow, why does it glow rb0 is equal uh, to one and all the arrests are equal to zero in here rb0 so let's see the code now at the beginning i said this was equal to one so i have this 
situation over here zero seven zeros and one and I said at the beginning port C and port D here is always gonna be equal to uh, zero in this particular situation and port B is equal to X and I first I uh, clear uh, defined that is it that X is an a character inside character it is it is equal to one so when the program starts uh, then the rb0 is gonna be high because if I look at this program all others are on uh, logic zero and the first or the zeroth uh, pin on the B register is gonna be equal to logic high and okay so that's it now and I have a delay of 250 milliseconds so that's okay now when this delay is over then I have another value of x this means that x uh, wrote like uh, uh, if I read it like this x equal to x then this means that the x is going to be shifted for one number uh, for one value on the left so now I have a new value of x that is equal to this 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. and now I have an if statement so I've, I ask myself this x, x equal to 0 if it is then I'm gonna give it a value to 1 and it's gonna go to loop 2 so loop 2 is over here the other uh, program but it is not uh, one so now I have a second value that is equal to zero 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 one zero so six zeros one and zero and if x is not equal to zero go to loop one here you said so where is loop one well it is the beginning in this uh, particular situation so that is an identifier so this uh, pro this here is going to return to loop one over here then i have port c and port d that are equal to zero but now port b is going to be equal to this zero zero six zeros one and zero so in the next uh, moment let me just so in the next moment over here i have that rb1 is gonna be logic high and then the rb0 is gonna be uh, zero and that shifts to the left and as you can see here uh, oh sorry rb1 is gonna be on the logic high and that how many times do i do this i do this uh, I think six more times until x equals to zero. Why does x? Uh, why do I have this? That is x uh, x equal to zero. Look here, it shifts to the left every time. It shifts to the left. So the last combination is gonna be one and seven zeros. So this is eight bit long. But after the eighth time, if I shift this one uh, if I shift this number one to the left then it goes outside because the character unsigned character this state data type as you can see is 8 bit long so then if I shift one more time this one uh, after uh, this combination then it goes out and then I have an 8 bit long character that is equal to uh, zero so when that happens I will give X a value of 1 and it goes to loop 2 so where is loop 2 loop 2 is over here so then I have this another situation where port C is equal to 1 so port C is uh, character is gonna have value like this I will hope I hope I will uh, catch that particular moment so it goes it shifts to the left and when it shifted to the last uh, pin of the register b it will go to port c so here it is now port c is equal to x and i declared it as x uh, and 
here I declare it as one. So in the first situation, in this particular moment, x is gonna be equal to this. And it, oh, sorry. And it shifts to the left on every 250 milliseconds. And I always ask, is x equal to zero? If it is not, uh, go to loop two. So it brings over here, loop two, and it, it gave it a new value. And when it comes to the situation where, where x is gonna x is gonna be equal to zero, then I give it uh, a value one, and it goes to loop three. And loop three is the last place over here, as you can see. Then port C is equal to zero, port D is gonna be equal to one, where I said it is gonna be x is equal to x is equal to one port b is always going to be zero in this loop i have a delay of uh, 250 milliseconds and i will shift the one over here to the left every time until this x is x is going to be equal to zero and if it and that's pr practically it so if i if in this particular situation is if x x is going to be equal to zero then i'll give it a value one and because the program ends it starts from the beginning here where while started if not it will go to loop three and you know it's gonna shift to the left so when i start the program over here this shifts to the left every 250 milliseconds but my cpu is a little bit slow because there are a lot of things going on now in my laptop so it's a little bit slower than uh, at the beginning of the video so you can download the code and uh, the proteus file uh, i'll put the link in the description of this uh, video now thank you for watching i hope you learned something if there are any questions uh comment in my uh just comment in this uh, video goodbye